This is BBC One, where we begin a new daytime series now with Emlyn Hughes to see fair play in the family quiz Box Clever. Welcome to Box Clever, our brand new television board game. Box Clever is a game that's packed with tension as our family teams battle it out to capture territory on our computer playing board. The tactics of the battle are vital to the outcome of the game, and I will be analysing the team's moves and keeping you up to date on the implications of each skirmish. What is also crucial is the ability of our teams to answer questions over a very wide area of interest. The brains behind this part of the operation is Dr. Sue Kingsman of Trinity College, Oxford. Sue, you must have loads and loads of questions you're going to ask on this series. Yes, I've calculated that by the end of the series, I will probably asked about 6,000 questions. Each round is timed. There are five 30-second rounds, followed by five 45-second rounds. Well, Our the teams are going to have to think really quickly. <laughs> and they will cover, well, I mean, everything, I suppose. Yes, um, to be box clever champions, our teams are going to have to be real all-rounders. There are questions on Shakespeare plays, EastEnders, pop music, operas. There's even a round of questions on sportsmen's nicknames. Oh, all right, <laughs> all right, all right. Stop. I might not get any of the others, but I might get a few of the sportsmen's nicknames. Well, in fact, out of the 6,000 questions, the answer to two of them is Emlyn Hughes. <laughs> oh, fame at last. But, Sue, let me ask you about your own subject, which is microbiology. I can hardly say that, never mind any, answer anything about it. Well, I, I have a team of uh, research scientists at Oxford, and we're interested in trying to find out how genes are switched on and off. And the reason that's important is, for example, in a cancer cell, genes get switched on and off at the wrong times. We also try and rearrange genes so that we can produce new compounds that might make useful drugs for Use in medicine. Right, enough, <laughs> enough, enough, enough. I might just get maybe one of them. Anyway, anyway, thanks, Sue. So the teams take it in turn to answer the question rounds. And this is when the board comes in. Now, for every question the team get right, they colour up a box on the board. Now, we have here our joysticks. And they press it down just like this here. And press the little plunger there. Move it on just a little bit. Boink, boink. They can do whatever they want, really, but they only have one round to do it in, a 30-second round or a 45-second round. Now, if the chasing, as the yellows are here, are chasing this group of six, they get another one right, boing, just move over a little bit, boing, another one, boing, and the time runs out, then they're in trouble because the red team can then just move on just for the last in the group of that six and boing. See what's important it is, you have to finish your group off. If you leave it open, it can be pinched. And whoever fills in the last of that group, whatever it is, two, three, four, five, or six, the last one in that group ends up pinching the whole group. So it's important the teams pace themselves correctly and they can stop, if it's beneficial to them, they can stop before the end of their round. Now, the teams must always go for the groups that are next to each other, unless, of course, they're pinching an open group. So we start getting the pattern like this that's on the board now. The whole point of the game is to box your opponents in so that they are trapped and can't get more than half the boxes on the board. Here you see reds have boxed the yellows in. Now, if there was a count-up at this stage, the yellows could only get 38, which would leave 43 for the Reds. And at that point, the Red team would shout, Box Clever, and the computer does its count-up. Let's see if it is really Box Clever. Yes, the yellow team is boxed in by the Red team. <laughs> see? He could be the star of the show as it happens. <laughs> but anyway, Reds have won, and they go on to play the computer game for money. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. But that's enough from myself and Sue at the moment. Let's meet our first two teams who want to play 
Box Clever. <laughs> well, James, I believe that you are a sports fanatic and like travelling. Well, not quite a fanatic. I like playing sports, but uh, I like travelling better everywhere. I travel with my uh, family and uh, with the school as often as I can. And which of your family have you brought along today? Well, this is my stepdad, Dave. He's uh, interested in food. He helps my mum in uh, a snack bar on the seafront at Brillington, Dave's place. And he's also a member of a drama society. This is my step-granddad, Jack. He's interested in uh, gardening, crosswords, and scotch whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, first. Yeah. Eating, what's your little place? Uh, we've just got a little snack bar in Bridge. We do spend my summer time making beef burgers and knickerbocker glories and stuff like that and trying to be polite to people. Oh, well done, well <laughs> done. And Jack, whiskey, crosswords and gardening, which yes. order? Well, the whiskey fortifies me for the gardening, you see. <laughs> when I want to rest, I do a crossword. <laughs> oh, well done. And let's meet our red team, which is Stefan Chilcott. Yeah. Stefan, what's your interest? Well, just generally... Enjoying myself. What's this I hear about a dragon? What's, what's this <laughs> well, about? Well, I had to wear this dragon costume one week at college, and the head was really big, so I kept on walking into lampposts, sent half of the town into fits of laughter. Oh, it's embarrassing. Who <laughs> have you brought along with you? Well, I brought my mum, Jan, who collects cats, and my mum's sister, Sue, who likes going on long holidays. Mum, Jan, cats, how many? Four at the moment. Names? Um, Scott Fitzgerald, Golly Hoover, Columbo and Oz. And Oz? Oz. Oz After Pam. Jimmy Nail. Oz. He's one of your favourites, is he? Yes, yes. And I you're into like travelling, you. I believe. So. I Where? Sure am. Singapore. Singapore? Yes. Oh, that's Paris. a fair old drag <laughs> to go, isn't it? What do you go over there for? Holidays. Holidays? Sun. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't go for a day trip, could you? No. No, not really. So, we're now ready to play. We've already tossed the coin to see who starts, and actually, James' team's won. So, Let's have this week's Box Clever board. So, James, tactics all devised? Yep, we're all ready. You've got five subjects. First round is 30 seconds. Could you choose a subject for us, please? Uh, we'll have Beatles songs, please. So, this is a round of questions about the characters in Beatles songs. 30 seconds, the time starts now. Who is the leader of the Lonely Hearts Club band? Sergeant Pepper. Pepper. Correct. Who lives in his nowhere land? Full on no, the hill. Nowhere man. Correct. Who keeps a ten bob note up his nose? Pass, pass. Mean Mr. Mustard. Who's so good looking she looks like a man? Pass. The Rita. It's Polythene Pam. What is the name of the meter maid? Rita. Correct. Who wrote the words of a sermon no one will hear? Father Mackenzie. Correct. Who speaks words of... Stop. Well, James, tactics came into it there. Realised you weren't going to quite fill, so you thought you'll make them work a little bit harder. <laughs> Left that group of six open, they've got four, and our other team might, if they can answer them two questions, possibly get another two or four up in this corner. Could be off to a great start. Stefan, mm -hmm. choose um, a subject. We'll take catchphrases. I will give you the name of a television performer. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me their familiar catchphrase? 30 seconds, time starts now. Charlie Drake. Oh, pass. Hello, my darlings. Miriam Carlin in The Rag Trade. Um, everybody Every out? Correct. Janice Nichols in Thank Your Lucky Stars. Pass. I'll give it five. Michael Miles in Take Your Pick. Oh, pass. Take the money or open the box. Steptoe Junior to Steptoe Senior. Michael Miles. Oh, sorry. Wrong. <laughs> Dirty old man. Correct. <laughs> Bernard Breslau and... Stop. Our first completed group. Well done, Steph. <laughs> well done, the Chilcot family. Yes, I think so. James? How many, yeah. how many of them, please? In this round, the answer to each of these questions is a number. 30 seconds. The time starts now. How many spots on a dice? 36. Wrong, 21. How many days did Phileas Fogg travel? Uh, 80. Correct. How many rings on the Olympic flag? Five. Five. Correct. 
How many years marriage does a ruby wedding anniversary commemorate? Forty. Correct. How many pecks in a bushel? Pass. Four. How many stripes on the American flag? Pass. Thirteen. How many years did Sleeping Beauty sleep? Hundred. Correct. How many lords are leaping did my true love send to me? Nine. No, it's eleven. And the team have left another group open. They've only managed to get four. They've left two open there, and it looks as though it could be pinched again. Come on, you've got to start getting going. Mm -hmm. Steph, yeah, right. if a chance to Directions pinch again. Uh, Directions, please. Directions, Sue. I'll give you the name of two places in Great Britain. Can you give me the direction, north, south, east, or west, you would travel to get from the first to the second? Understand that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds starts now. From Leicester to Nottingham? North. Correct. From Winchester to Salisbury? South. No, it's west. From Rygate to Guildford? West. Correct. From Inverness to Aberdeen? North. No, it's east. From Shrewsbury to Chester? Uh, pass. From north. From Oxford to Newbury? Uh, 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 stop. <laughs> And looking at the red side there, they've now got the middle virtually boxed up, and our yellow side haven't got any as yet, and we've still got to get to a situation where one side can get the other boxed in. They must try to get out to the side as quickly as possible. James, there's only one subject left. Sue? It's painters, and you have to tell me... Yeah, hang on, we don't know where we're going yet. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> The game is um, not to get that? boxed in. This is a problem. Yeah. 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 Right, we're ready. <laughs> ready. OK, <laughs> so this round is about painters, and you have to tell me who painted the following famous paintings. It's the last 30-second round. The time starts now. Self-portrait with a pipe and a bandaged ear. Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Correct. Mm. The Hay Wayne. Constable. Constable. Correct. The Laughing Cavalier. Franz Howells. Correct. The Mona Lisa. Uh, Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci. Vinci. Correct. A Bigger Splash. Uh, David Hockney. Correct. Monarch of the Glen. Lancia. Lancia. Correct. Mr. and Mrs. Andrews in the park. Pass. Pass. Gainsborough. Marilyn Monroe's lips. Andy Warhol. Correct. The lace maker. Stop. <laughs> well done. Well done. That was great. You completed two groups and it's kept it open for you, both sides. <clears throat> so the Chilcots. Still a bit of work to do. We now have five completely new sets of questions. And this round, every, everyone goes up to 45 seconds. So it gives you a bit more time. But again, think about what you're doing yeah. before you start. Yeah. Have a good look at the board and see where you're going to go. OK, now, which one should we choose? Just, just think of an ice block. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, the category. Oh, right. Oh, right. Um. <laughs> OK, which one? Pop intros. Pop intros. Pop intros, please. Pop intros. In this round, you'll hear the first few bars of, of some pop music records. Can you tell me the name of the singer <coughs> or group? It's the first of the 45 second rounds, and your time starts now. Pass. It's Tina Turner. <laughs> Thompson Twins. Correct. Pass. It's Genesis. Pass. Level 42. Paul Young. Correct. Stop. Well, tactics did come into it there. You realised that you couldn't, in the time you had remaining, complete that group of five just down the bottom there. So, call, stop, rather early. Well done. So, David, the three. Jack, yes. James? Uh, body bits? Yes, body bits. Go we'll go for body bits then, please. Right. Body bits, question about, how the, about the human body and how it works. It's a 45-second round, and the time starts now. What is the common name for the humerus? 
Funny bone. Correct. Where would you find the cornea? In, in your eye. eye. Correct. What is the large intestine called? The bowel. Correct. What is the patella? The knee cap. Knee cap. Correct. Where would you find the tibia and fibula? In your shin. Correct. What are catalysts for chemical reactions in the Speeding body? Speeding up reactions. No. What are they called? What are the catalysts called? Pus. Enzymes. Which mineral is required for skeleton and teeth formation? Calcium. Calcium. Correct. Stop. <laughs> As you can see from the board now, the game is developing into where the Reds have got the middle boxed up here and can go either side. They can go up to the top there, down to the bottom here. And our yellows, who have got more groups, but are still in a difficult position because it's going to take an awful lot of work to box the Reds in. Had a look round? That four. Yeah, that four. Yep. Yeah. Just William. Yeah, just William, please. This is a round of questions about people called William. Understand? Yeah. You know where you're going? Yeah. 45 yeah. seconds starts now. Who initiated the Doomsday Book? William the Conqueror. Correct. Which famous William died on the 23rd of April, 1616? Pass. William Shakespeare. Who followed William and Mary to the throne? Pass. Queen Anne. Who won the Booker Prize with the Ice Cream War? Mm. William Golding. Wrong. William Boyd. Which school did William Bunter go to? Greyfriars. Correct. What does the M stand for in William M. Thackeray? Milton. No, make peace. Name William Wordsworth's sister. Millicent. No, Dorothy. What nationality was the poet William Carlos Williams? Uh, English. No, American. If Prince Charles' son, William... Succeeds to the throne, what number will follow his name? Uh, six. No, it's the fifth. Oh, one out. Well, as you can see here now, the red side have left this box open here to complete a group of three. Now, the yellows need to pinch that and build on down here, and it looks as though the yellows are developing into a winning side. Oh, what would no. World War II? Mm. There's two left to choose. Yeah. We'll have World War II in place. This is questions about the people and the events of the Second World War. 45 seconds starts now. Who became Prime Minister in May 1940? Winston Churchill. Correct. What was the name of the corrugated steel shelter erected in back gardens? The Anderson Shelter. Correct. What does ITMA stand for? It's that man again. Correct. For one box each, complete these slogans. Dig for? Victory. Make do and mend. Oh, sorry. <laughs> be, scrap that one. Be like dad. That. Keep mum. Keep mum. Keep silent, quiet. No, yeah. she's not so dumb. Yeah. Careless talk. Ghost lives. Correct. What is that? Stop. <laughs> I've got a feeling this game is going to go on forever. <laughs> Could easily. Well, if I keep giving him the answers, probably will. <laughs> <laughs> Chilcott's jam, Sue. Yeah, Steph? Yeah, it has to be Parliament. It does. So this is questions about the British parliamentary system. 45 seconds, time starts now. <clears throat> How does the House of Commons begin its sitting of the day? Pass. Pass. With prayers. What does the phrase without portfolio mean? Um, without cabinet. Can you be a bit more specific? Uh, with no special responsibility. With Correct. Which voting system does the Liberal SDP Alliance favour? Proportional representation. Correct. Who was the, the Defence Minister at the time of the Falklands War? Heseltine. No, John Knott. Which Labour politician is known as the Beast of Bolsover? Pass. 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 Dennis Skinner. On what day of the week is precedence given to private members' bills in the House of Commons? Uh, what, Wednesday. Thursday? No, it's Friday. <laughs> what is the name of the Prime Minister in the television comedy, Yes, Prime Minister? Uh. It's Jim Hacker. You are leaving a few groups open, aren't you? That's about the third on the belt you've left over. Looking at the tactics again, yellows need two boxes there to complete that group of four. If they can then sneak that group there of four on the left-hand side, they would then be able to add up all the boxes left open to the reds, and if it doesn't add up to 41,
then our yellows would be box clever champions. Yeah, no. yeah. Okay. 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 You've got five new nursery sets rhymes. of subjects. Nursery rhymes? Yeah. Go on then. Nursery rhymes. We'll go for nursery rhymes then, please. So the, these are questions about what happens in various nursery rhymes. It's a 45 second round. The time starts now. Why did Jack and Jill go up the hill? Touch the water. water. Correct. Who could eat no lean? Jack, Jack Spratt. Spratt. Cor wrong. It's Jack Spratt's <laughs> wife. Who put the kettle on? Polly. Polly. Correct. Who took it off again? Suki. Correct. Who sat on a tuffet? Must not Must Correct. Where has Bobby Shafto gone? C. Correct. Which doctor went to Gloucester? Foster. Foster. Correct. Stop. <laughs> Right, and box clever. <laughs> now you're certain. You're certain. <laughs> yes. 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 We'll go for it. Yeah. <laughs> An Irish certain. We think it's yeah. Jack. <laughs> well, we'll ask our computer if you're right. Yes, the red team is boxed in by the yellow team. <laughs> well, like congratulations, that. James, David and Jack. Commiserations to the Chilcott family. It's been nice having you on board. Thanks for coming along to play Box Clever. <laughs> Our first ever champions, the James Colgan team, stay on to meet our new challengers. But first, they get the chance to win big money on our special computer game. In the game, our little plunger on the box clever board has taken human shape. He's driving his car around the roads and painting road signs. The teams use the joystick to control the car and press the fire button to paint the signs. But they must slow down, and that is important. You must slow down to do the painting. And to make it more difficult, there's a crazy towing truck after them, trying to stop them. And they get 10 points for each painted sign. And any points over 100, it then turns into money. And the team win the value in book and record tokens. They have one minute to play, and each team member must play for at least 15 seconds. So if you're ready, James, your time starts now. <laughs> <laughs> well done, James, David, and Jack. Very well. Done. You look as though you've played computer games all your life. Oh yeah. <laughs> you've taken a hundred pounds home. Anyway, congratulations. But sadly, that's where we must say goodbye. On behalf of our new champions, the Colgans, Sue, and myself, don't forget tune in same time next week and watch Box Clever. Yeah.